What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back another video on the channel. And today we are back with another round of a Filipino food extravaganza, whatever you want to call it. I found another restaurant in the area, have some friends that are Filipino when they said you have to try this place. Apparently they make the best sisig that you can find. So I took it to a place called Mama Fina's. It is located in Elmwood Park, New Jersey, has a 4.4 rating of over 300 rating. And lo and behold, when I looked through the reviews on Google, all it kept saying was the pork sisig was the best so I got that I had to everybody said it was right and y'all know already that this is probably my third round my second round having home cooked Filipino food did Jollibee twice um, I did Chow King and one other restaurant so this will be the fifth time trying the food and I've loved everything it's a cuisine that I wasn't familiar with until I started doing YouTube so we have it drop the thumbs up you want to see more of the food finds but this is gonna be real special to me let me open some of these up because I can only see them through the package and they look good now this is the pork sisig and it comes on a sizzling plate when you get it in the restaurant but I don't want to be sitting there screaming making all kinds of obscenities in the restaurant when as good as it is I already know I'm gonna be loud and obnoxious so this is what it looks like I got it with the garlic rice so that's the sisig right here and on the other side you have the garlic rice um, I can't wait to try that. Also got, this was highly recommended from the restaurant as well as some of the viewers that said I have to try this, but this is Lechon Kowali and what it is, oh, the gravy in there too, look at the gravy in the middle. So what it is is actually deep fried uh, pork belly. You usually fry it in like a wok or a pan, it says. And I got that one with the white rice. Also got a breakfast this time. I got long silag, which is a breakfast platter made with garlic fried rice. I got a fried egg on here, and I don't know what kind of sauce that is. We're going to find out. And of course, the longanisa sausage, which is like a sweet pork breakfast sausage, which is right in the front. You see the fried egg and the garlic rice. I have to get through this because I want to eat this so fast right now. Also, I had the jolly Bee spaghetti, and I really loved it. So I got actual uh, whole homemade spaghetti this time which I haven't seen yet because you can see it's covered but let's unveil this bad boy together bro oh the excitement level let's see let's see let's see let's see yeah it definitely looks different I don't see like a ton of sauce because it's mixed in there which is a good thing Ooh, oh that smells good I don't even know that there's no hot dogs in here which is even better so I don't know what I'm getting that's an actually exciting moment for me and also I got a small order of this is this smells so good bro Oh, I wish I had smell vision. You could smell this through the screen right now between the garlic and the different fried porks and this. Just pork, pork, and pork. Oh, yeah. My kind of party. Chicken adobo, which I've only made once, but I've never actually eaten. So this time I got it homemade. If I can ever get the freaking packet open. Apparently, this is the place to be. We are going to be the judge of that today. Again, drop a thumbs up, man. I'm so excited. They say you're supposed to have pork sisig with beer. I don't drink beer. But I do have Inca-Cola, which is not beer at all. So I apologize for not having beer. But I, I've heard the, the request and stuff, but I'm not a beer drinker. I don't, you know, I try to... That's my Twitch. I did turn it off, but that's a different notification. I apologize. I'm on Twitch. I live streamed. Anyway, you can catch me on Twitch with the link in the description. That's... <sighs> Start with the pork sisig. This is apparently the one. I see the red onions in here. <laughs> I don't want to be extra, but at this point, I know what I'm getting myself into. This looks way different than the one I got before, but it looks amazing. And the smell of vision is real. It fell. No, it's okay. Oh, it's crunchy. Oh, that's really crunchy. Oh, that's really crunchy. Holy shit. Now I know what y'all was talking about. Oh my goodness. What the hell? I swear. You know that red onion? Yep. The crunchy pork pieces? That is just flavor on flavor. Let's get a little bit of this garlic rice and we'll start mixing. You know I'm going in already. Try some of the garlic rice. Garlic fried rice. That is the best I've had. That is, I don't even want to finish. I don't even want to finish. That's, I don't want to curse. I'm sorry. That's effing incredible. I'm picking up the piece. I clean my table. We're fine. The amount of garlic in this rice is enough that I won't be able to kiss anybody for like three years. And that's a good thing. Can y'all hear that crunch? It's audible. Tangible. Then we're not playing. I had chicken sisig one time at the other restaurant. This right here is like, let me tell you something. For all my viewers that are watching that are in this area, you gotta try this. 
Can y'all hear that? There's crunchy pork pieces, but there's also savory, like, tender pork pieces. It's like both. So you get this, like, different texture thing going on in your mouth. I don't even know what I paid for this, but it's worth more. Oh my goodness. You get a little bit of that flavor from the onion, but the star, for me, y'all gotta give me a second, bro. Wow, it's that crunchy pork. Then you get that garlic fried rice. There's little crunchy pieces of fried garlic all through the rice and the oil. I'm not joking with you. I'm sorry if you feel like I'm being extra. Y'all ain't never tried this, so you gotta listen to me on this one. What is this right here? Look at this. I can't stop eating this. Every Filipino person that I personally know told me I had to go to this place. Y'all did not steer me wrong. This right here is as good as it gets. I would legit... There's also something in this. Like, I swear to goodness, I'm 97% sure that there's mayonnaise in this. I can taste mayo. Also getting, like, a lime. Lime citrus. But there's definitely... The, the taste I'm getting when I get to the bottom is mayonnaise. There's definitely mayo in here. Or something similar to that effect. But it goes, I mean, perfect. Wow. I, I'm, man, that's so good. The crunchy pieces are like addictively good. With this rice, I can't stop eating this. I can't stop eating this. I can't stop eating this. It's gonna be hard to top this with the other food because this is absolutely hands down one of the best dishes from a restaurant that I have ordered ever. Sign me up for crunchy pork pieces any day out of the year. One more bite, bro. One more bite. You have to take this away from me. Absolute nothing wrong with it, 10 out of 10. I even like the mayo. That's a nice touch. I don't know if that's in every cystic dish or if that's their particular, but... It's like pork salad, bro. Oh, man. Let's crack open an Inca Cola. If you never had one, it's not Filipino at all. Um, I believe it's like Hispanic. Most Hispanic places have it. I had it in my fridge. It is good though. Mm -mm. I guess next we will try the lechon kuali. Like I said, it's pork belly that's fried until it's crispy. Served with rice and there's a gravy here. Which if this is, if you're telling me I got homemade like Jolly Bee style gravy? Because I can see the difference. Look at the like seasoning in there. I don't know if y'all get it without me pour, but I know that's going right on everything. As soon as I try everything without it first, and then I'm going to do it, um, which I feel like is going to be the proper way. But look how thick this piece of pork is with the crispy top. It looks super juicy. Y'all hear that? Can I dip this? I don't care I'm dipping it. What is that? Thank you something different with that gravy now. There's almost something mustardy in that. Yep. Give me all that. Hold on a second. We just gonna do this. A little bit. I'm gonna leave a little because I wanna kinda dip it in there. I wanna try this by itself. What is that? I swear there's like an aftertaste like a Dijon mustard, like grape poupon or something like that. Let's mix this up in the rice. In the rice. I should, man, I, I, if I would have known, I would have asked them for extra gravy because I would have needed more gravy on my gravy. Yeah, this is going to be a two-hander. We're going to have to do this with two. The pork skin on the top is perfectly fried. It's crunchy. Crackly, but it's not a hard bite. It didn't take a lot to bite through it. The pork itself is super tender. There's a fat layer in there. Then you get this rice with this gravy, man. Oh my goodness. I'm glad I had a good workout today. Look at that. 
Now, see how juicy that is? Now, when you bite it, look at the back. Look at that. The crap. Oh. Perfect bite. You going for a little of that gravy? Pork fat rules. Almost bit the spoon off. That is so good. Crispy, juicy, tender, seasoned with this gravy, man. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. This place called Mama Phoenix. Is this somebody mama making this? Because I'm, I'm joining the family. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. Even just the rice with the gravy. It's like trying the one at Jollibee was like the starter pack. You know, you got a taste for it, but then this is like real deal homemade stuff. Uh, I gotta get one more bite. All the crackle piece, man. That's, I can't stop eating it, bro. I've taken another bite. Last one, I promise. It just, it just, it just leaves you wanting more. My only complaint, not one complaint, and I wish I would have known this beforehand. I would have got more gravy. I should have got more gravy. I want more gravy. Or because it did like a different rice. Man, now we're actually going to try um, a breakfast. So like I said before, long sea log, which is longanisa sausage. We have the garlic fried rice and their fried eggs chilling over here on the side. Looks like they left the yolk runny. W. And I don't know what this is. I'm going to take a guess. We're going to take a sniff. Vinegar, maybe? Definitely vinegar. <laughs> Took my whole nostrils in there. Where do I pour this? Where do I dip it? Both? Let's just start with it over here. Man, Toretto moving. We don't even care. I'm in heaven right now. I don't care. I want to try this sausage first of all. My first time trying like longanisa sausage. You can see the casing on it. So you see like right there. Nice and crispy. Good char on it. Ooh. That's different. There's a sweetness to it. There is a sweetness to it. Do I just go in like this? Like... What do I do with that? Go ahead and tell me that. I know somebody's going to say something. Listen. The sausage, they have it grilled perfectly, so there's a char on it, which goes good with the sweetness. And then the pork flavor, of course, that comes through this. All right, so how do, how do I, what do I, what do I, just put it on the rice? Let's just try this first. Their garlic rice is so good. I got to move this egg, and we got to bust that yolk on top of the rice for sure. I would have did that anyway. I'm going here, and then we're going to, we're just going to do a two-hander. We're going to two-hand this thing again. So we're going to go here. I'd eat that before I can bacon. I like that. I like that a lot. That sausage is like, like a sweetness to it that just works with the savory and the garlic and then like the creamy egg on here. Massive dub, bro. I'm trying to figure out this vinegar. I'm trying to figure out this vinegar. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drizzle it like on a rice and we're going to like mix it up. Like now that we kind of got this cooking a little bit, I don't want to go too crazy with the vinegar. Maybe I'll add a little bit as possible to begin with, which is half the freaking thing on here. Um, and then we'll get some of this like sausage on here and just, you know, go to work. Like we go to work here. We're not trying to be cute. We're trying to go to work. This is work right here. So I'm just going to dig that in. We're going to cut up a piece of this pork like this. Like, let's just go, man. Like, let's just, here we go, right there. Boom. And then we'll just see what the vinegar does to this. We'll see, we'll see like if it's hidden for something. Got the egg on here. Got the vinegar on here. Right here. Watch this. Right on the fork. Right there. Boom. Got the perfect bite. Ooh. It like wakes it up. 
it wakes it up. I love that creamy egg yolk in here because I love egg yolks. My oh my. If this is breakfast food, which I love breakfast like this, like rice with eggs is like, like a major W. You add that sausage to that, I would be happy as hell every day I woke up and you had this sitting in front of me. I ate all the freaking sausage too. Mmm. Mmm. This is where it's at. And we're not lying. Everything here, I mean, is a W that you can't even imagine. I need one more. One more. But I'm about to go in over here. If I can ever pull myself away from this stuff. Mm, okay. I'm gonna move you right here. Now we're gonna try this chicken adobo. Chicken chunks, pieces, looks like dark meat. Sit in the sauce. I'm gonna get it with the rice, but I wanna try it first with, with like, you know, just as is. Just to see what's up. Okay, so here's a piece. Small piece. Come on out and play. Into the rice we go. Into the rice we go. And into the rice we go. Oh. Oh, man. Okay. Let's break this off. You need the rice for sure. You can definitely eat it without the rice, but. Oh, it soaks up. It's like. Yeah, we don't. Garlic rice. Mm -hmm, go, go. That's the bite. It's got a tang to it. Almost like a vinegar thing. There's also a soy sauce aspect. A little salty. Got a little spice to it. There's just a lot of things going on in here. And I'm not complaining about any of them. I do like it with the garlic rice even better. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all still here? Man. This is such like a simple dish, right? But like, it's just executed so well. Go here, there we go. Now we're talking. Mmm. Mmm. I can't eat it fast enough. Mmm. One more piece of pork. It's already bitten. And some sisic. Crackly pieces. Y'all need to try this, man. That sisic is crazy good. Dude, everything's so good. So good. Like, so good. I can't even describe it to you. Y'all live in my area, man. Y'all gotta go over there and just give this a shot. You're allowed to order whatever you want. But I demand that you get the sisig. If you don't eat pork, I'm here. That's fine. They have chicken. Get the sisig. Something sisig. Doesn't matter. After that, go with your instincts. But go crazy. But I do have one more thing, which for some reason I saved for last. And I was probably the most excited about. So now we have the Filipino style spaghetti. Now a lot of times when I did my Jollibee video, people would say that that is not real Filipino spaghetti. That's more of like a different kind. This one I noticed right off the bat does not have that same thick bananas ketchup kind of sauce or the hot dogs. It looks like another kind of spaghetti entirely. So I'm beyond interested to see. Ooh, that looks really good. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah, there's a different, it's like an oil almost. It like coats the noodles. The sauce is not like crazy thick. It's it's definitely a different kind of vibe. Look, can y'all get in here like this? Look. 
You see what I'm saying? Like it looks completely different. There's peppers in here. It looks like carrots, and I don't know what kind of meat this is. We can just try a piece of the meat. Now we go. We're gonna take this all in one bite. I'm just gonna put it right on the top. All right, here we go. I was going crazy about Jolly Bee Spaghetti. You gotta be kidding me. You kidding me? This this is you kidding me? The crazy part is I've clearly eaten a lot of spaghetti in my life, but I have never had spaghetti like this. This is entirely different. I'm telling you, the sauce, the taste is there. The sauce is almost like an oil. It just coats the noodles. And then you get these little crunchy bites of pepper. I don't even know what the hell kind of meat is in here. Nor do I care. Y'all can answer that for me. Whatever meat it is, I don't and look, it could be my own foot. I'm still eating it. That's real spaghetti, man. That is, you gotta miss the hell out of this. Get all that sauce from the bottom. Oh, man, bro. Look at this. Con yo. That sausage. Mm-hmm. The sausage, you like the slice. Yeah, that is definitely sausage. It could be a hot dog. But this, this is shit. This. I really, really like the Jolly Bee spaghetti. This is light years ahead of how good. That is insanely good. Completely different taste to it. It has the same kind of flavor profile as the Jolly Bee spaghetti, but a lot more of a homemade feel to it. The texture of it is more like an oil, like I said. The other one just felt more like a ketchup or like a sauce, where this has like a coating of the noodle. So every noodle has a ton of flavor on it. And then you get these little pieces of like, I don't know if they're sausages or hot dogs or whatever, It is just absolutely incredible. Incredible. How do you know? Because there's hardly any left. I'm going to have to wheel me out of here in a second. I'm going to tell you what. Every time I order Filipino food, I am literally more impressed. It's like nothing that I've ever had. It is a mix of like four different kinds of cuisines, like greatest hits, and then it all comes together on a plate of like different kind of flavor profiles. The Sisig absolutely blew my mind. So many of my friends recommended this place and said it has the best Sisig around. Clearly, not a lie. The lechon quality, that pork, that crispy belly on the top, that fried skin, the flavor, the texture with the rice, and then you got the adobo. I sound like I'm rapping. It doesn't matter. Just let me finish. And then I got the adobo right here. You pour it on top of this rice, but the garlic fried rice, you can mix in between longanisa sauce. It's sweet. Also has a char profile to it. Just incredibly different flavorful. Add that fried egg garlic fried rice to it. Add a little vinegar sauce on the top. You have yourself a W. Then they got more gravy, which I didn't know I should have ordered more. I wish I would have ordered more because I'm all out of it. I would literally take this and just pour it and lick it out of it. I don't even care. We can just continue to do that, but I'm upset because there aren't any more gravy, I would have known. I would have said, listen, how much for extra gravy? Let me get a cup. I'll pay you $4 for it, $5. What you need, I got you. You want to go on chicken? I got you. We can trade, barter, whatever you want to do. But every single plate on here, the spaghetti was absolutely mind-blowing. It's cooked perfectly. It's al dente. It has oil that covers it. I can't even breathe anymore because I've been talking this entire time without taking it in the breath. <gasps> but do you understand what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely one of my favorite restaurants that I have reviewed so far. I have a few. I don't know if I want to do like a greatest hits anthology because everything that I've had over these years have been delicious, but there are certain ones that are going to stand out and I'm going to be having dreams about that sissy. I got the meat sweats in the back of my head right now. You can't see it, but my excitement level is on a 9,000. It's taking every urge of me to not eat everything that you see in front of you. And trust me, I can, but I already promised my own mother who has Filipino co-workers that used to give her food, but she's no longer at that place, at a different place, so she doesn't have them anymore. And I said, Mom, I called her beforehand, I texted her, I said, listen, I have Filipino spaghetti. She said, you do? I want some. I, you should have told me beforehand. So I said, it's okay, I'll save you some. So now I saved her some, and I don't want to save you some. And Mom, if you're watching this, just remember, at the point that this video came out, you don't know my own inner thoughts, but I dropped this off at your house after I finished, 
And you got to take this deliciousness, because I don't want to share it. I'm not lying. I'm just going to have to go back. There's a huge menu there. They got all different kinds of sissic. Squid sissic. I didn't even know you could do that. I'm trying it. You better believe it. I'm not the biggest fan of squid, but if anybody can make that damn squid taste good, it's right here. Mama Phoenix, 4.4, my ass. <laughs> nah, no, 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 no. We giving you like a 4.9. I'm only taking off 0.1 because we're not. We, um, I need more, and I don't have it. Other than that, I'm not capping. I'm not making this up. I am legitimately just floored by how good this was. I had been floored before when Filipino food was together. I'm sorry, mom. We're taking a few more bites. It is what it is. You can't eat this much either. Crispy, delicious, freaking pork. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I'm eating the egg. Fry your own egg. I'm eating the egg. Unbelievable. Live in my area. If you want to try some real deal Filipino food, Mama Phoenix is a place to be. I saw that just a commercial. They ain't paying me. I paid eighty dollars for this stuff. I don't even feel ripped off. You're not going to want this piece. I saved you a whole piece of pork. Absolute W. I'm floored. So good. So good. I'm going to go take a nap or something because I'm just satisfied like beyond belief. That's going to be the end of the video. Mm, hold on. There's a piece right, right here. I'm just testing to see if it's... I'm inspecting it. We're fine. We'll be back though. Tomorrow, more content. I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.